Hi, in this video we're doing matrix multiplication. We already did row and column. That would be in the 3.2 video. Now we're going to extend it to something that has more dimensions. And so this would be a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 2. Now if you look back at what we just did, we multiplied a row matrix times a column matrix. So we just took each one of these values, matched them up respectively, and then added them up. Now with a more dimensions, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except for we're going to do it repetitively. So you have to make sure that things get in their right spots. And so this is what we're going to do. First of all, if I have a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 2, that's going to result into a 3 by 2. That's the dimensions of my matrix. So I know that it's going to look just like this one here. So let's try this and see how this works. First of all, I highly recommend that you draw lines going straight across for the first, first matrix. Then I recommend that you draw lines going down for the second matrix. Because since these match up, 1, 2, 3, I need to multiply them respectively by 1, 2, 3. Okay? This is the first row. This is the first column. So that information will be put into my first row, first column of this matrix right here. So this is how we go. 2 times 0. And I'm going to write this out pretty thoroughly right now because it's your first time. 0 times negative 1. And then I'm going to go negative 1 times 3. That gives me the first number in the first row and first column. All that stuff. Now, if I want to go here, well, I go use the second row because it is the second row. And I'm going to use the first column because it is the first column. So I'm going to go 1 times 0 plus 3 times negative 1 plus 0 times 3. Notice that all these numbers are kind of the same. Then to get the third row, first number, I use the third row, first column. So this would be negative 2, 0 plus 1 times negative 1, and then 1 times the 3. So this is just one column of my matrix for my 3 by 2. Now to get the other column, I have to go to column 2. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. These 3 times these 3, put it here. So I'm going to go do that, pause that, you try that, and see what you end up with. So I took this row and multiplied by each one of these in the column. Negative 2, 2, negative 1. Negative 2, 2, negative 1. So on. Okay? Then I simplified all these. Double check my work. Make sure I did this right. Negative 3, negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 4, 5. That is my resultant matrix when I do this multiplication. So remember a couple things. First of all, to multiply... These two dimensions have to be the same. And then the first matrix you go across with, second matrix you go down with. And make sure that you write this thing out. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is how to use your calculator. So get your calculator out, and we'll plug this in. Okay, so here I have my calculator. If you go to the regular home page here, or a blank page on the docs, you can push this button. And with that button, you do have matrices. It's not these over here, but it's these down here. So if you want dimensions that are bigger than a 2 by 2, 1 by 2, or 2 by 1, we can go here. And it can ask, create. Now our first matrix is a 3 by 3. So let's put this in. And so then I'm just going to type in the numbers, 2, and I can go tab, 0, tab, 1, tab, and it will just keep on going. 1, 3, 0. And negative 2, 1, oop, forgot to tab, 1, 1. So that's my first matrix. Then you can just go right here and put times. There's my times. And then go select the other matrix. So you do this again. But now I got, or I have three rows and then two columns.
just like that. And then you can enter in those values. I'm going to pause this. So I made a mistake. This does not match up with what I did. So either I did something wrong or, oh, I did do something wrong. Look at this one. I typed this value in wrong. So if I have to, I can just go up with the calculator, go up and highlight that and hit it again. Now I can go back here and edit this and call that negative one. And so if I do that, now I think that I have the right matrix. And I can go enter. And then that should be the same values that I got from my other sheet. Now another thing you can do is that you can take one of these matrices. And if I do this, if I have it, I can store it. So here's S-T-O-R. Well, it doesn't have the R. But it means store. So I want to go control that var button, and then I can store this into some matrix name. How about A? So I can store that into A. And then what I can do is I can take this one, and maybe I want to store it in B. This is great if I'm using this many times. So I could go Control, Store, and then B. Oh, something messed up. Sorry. There's where I am. I wanted that second matrix. And I want to store this in for B. And so if I just hit enter, I got those two matrices. Now what I can do is go, go A, and this should be darkened if I have something stored in there. So I can go A times B if I'm using these matrices over and over again. This is really handy. And then that will give me my answer that I desired. Okay? So you can store these things in there. Please try to do some of these by hand. I gave you a worksheet to try to do... Uh, the bottom problems with and so try those by hand as much as possible it looks like there's a lot of problems down here but a lot of them are not possible because the dimensions don't match up plus if I give you a quiz more than likely I'm going to give you like a b c which maybe you can do on your calculator maybe not but I would try to avoid not using your calculator too much for these get some practice doing it the long way all right so this should help you for 3.3. Please read the section for 3.3, and then you're able to do the homework. Thanks very much. Have a great day.